Welcome back. It's the Bring a Trailer Showdown. Bat versus Bat. Hey, we got the first week in the can. Heading on to week two. Keeping the blinders on. Nose to the grindstone. We're doing work. So right here. 606 auctions live right now on Bring a Trailer. We got some time. But not too much. Not a whole lot of time left. I think these cards here go off on like 17 18 hours from now but uh oh yeah by the way me i'm chris allred i'm your host and i'll be solo today tomorrow we'll do another episode with zach chitwood episode six was a lot of fun you know <laughs> bar set high they're not all going to be like that but zach's a good old boy and i enjoy talking to him he's he's an interesting cat so let's just jump into it First set here on Bring a Trailer is going to be a 1995 Ferrari FM12. Is that not a Testarossa? It's got the Testarossa fins. Looks like a Testarossa. I don't know the difference. Then there's a 95 Porsche 911 Super Cup race car. No reserve. Yeah, you're going to spend some money on these boys. Guarantee you that. Okay, so this 512M is number 33 of 75 examples. Delivered in North America in 95. Hey, 95, 95, I like that. Okay, then this Porsche 911 is a one of 216 examples built between 94 and 97. Sold new to Andreas Knapp. Don't know who that is. Apparently participated in the German Career Cup, Super Cup. Okay, so this thing's, this thing's been road hard and put up wet. I uh, don't know, I'm sure that's some kind of beer. I see pills. So I'm not talking about the Porsche, the delivery on it. Half a deer? I don't know how to say that. But pills, that tells me it's a pilsner. And it's number 10. Interesting. Interesting pieces for the collection for, you know, the, the Uber car, car guy. Okay, boys, put your bid in. Which one do we think is worth more? I'm going to go with the race car just because. <laughs> now I'm wrong. Current bid is $460,000 on that Ferrari. And two hundred thousand U.S. dollars on that Porsche 911 race car. Next up, Lotus against Honda CRX. God dang it! What was a '90 CRX SI? Yeah, I know some Asian kids in Fort Smith that would have been all about that CRX. Even even a girlfriend I had down there on that way, she had a CRX. That was their thing they did. Souped them up. Okay, so it's a '94 Lotus Esprit S4. There's some. I have its time styling on that car. I see like a F three fifty five body kit piece. Interesting. It's red over black. Okay, two point two liter inline four five speed manual. Hmm. I don't think those Lotuses hold value. Okay, a ninety Honda CRX SI US spec, imported from Germany under prior ownership. Seller got it in nineteen ninety eight. He's held on that thing for a long time. I hate that he's selling it. 24 years he's had it. But hey, sometimes you just got to get the minivan. Or you got to get the Suburban. Okay, the money on it. I don't know. We should probably look a little closer in these cars. I need I need to do that a little more. Let's look at that CRX. Just, just for fun. A 1990 CRX SI. Okay, 1.6 liter, 5-speed manual, 14-inch alloys, sunroof, and a spoiler, air conditioning, Momo steering wheel. You better believe it's got a Momo steering wheel. Clean Georgia title, got to love that. Okay, finishing black. Hmm. I say, hmm, it's only... Man, oh, there's the money, 9,300, some bitch. Let's go back. Let's see if that Lotus has got more than 9,300 bucks on it. 16,000. Okay, Porsche 911. A Honda Z600. Never seen one of those. Okay, Lexus V8 powered 94 pickup. SR5, brah. Four wheel drive, five speed. Been in Cali. But it's got a. You know, it's had that R22. People be all about it. But a V8 Lexus. Huh. 
72 Honda Z600 is acquired in 2013 by the sellers of Refurb. Assembled the body panels, overhauled the 598cc parallel twin. Piston rings, gasket seals, timing chain guides. Okay, yeah. Overhauled the wiring. Okay, well, what's your money? I'm going to look at that Z600 a little closer. So, no, nothing about them. I'll say about 15 on that truck. 35. Good lord. 35,000 on the 94 Toyota. Extra cab. 10.5 on the Z600. Sounds like it ought to be a motorcycle. No, I'm not crazy about yellow cars, but yellow on that works well. Got the black stinger. Hell yeah. It's a honeybee. Two door hatchback. Okay, 598 brake system, been changed, chrome bumpers, 10 inch steel wheels. How about that? Push button AM FM radio and a cabin heater. Okay, at least we give you a toolkit. Jack and spare wheel. The spare wheel go in that little compartment there. The bumper. Car from Florida. Body collar side driver driver side mirror. Only gets one mirror. My God, I think you only get one mirror. All right, I love the cheap ass Japanese in the seventies. Well, he need one mirror. He he need two mirror. No, no, need just one mirror. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. That was stereotypical. <laughs> and not funny. Man, you could put a Lexus V8 engine in that. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a twin turbo Lexus V8 engine in that. That's what I want. Absolutely. Come on, boys. Give us what we want. Somebody, somebody make that. Okay, a 94 Pathfinder. Get a 69 Camaro. Blah. Yeah, 50 grand to 7. Four Thunderbird, 89. Get this nice. This ain't Auto Trader, man. This ain't Auto Trader. 2008 911. Get 225B. Now, this is all. Another Forerunner against a 911 GT3. Come on. Come on. A Shag and Wagon. A 78 Dodge Aspen Wagon. No reserve. Single family owned. Against a 6,000 mile 2015 Corvette with all those extra letters. That's going to be the gayest car ever. All the extra letters. That's just what I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that the gay car. It's the LGBTQSP7549348 gay car. 60 grand on that. 5600 on that wagon. Let's, let's take a closer look at a 78 Dodge Aspen wagon in a puke color. Was that tan? I guess that's tan. Okay, the seller's grandfather bought it brand new. He transferred to him in 2019. So he didn't buy it. He just got it. Let's transfer it to him. Probably. I'm going to say probably. I don't even know. So it's a light mocha tan over tan vinyl. 225 cubic inch slant 6. With a 3 speed torque flight automatic. 14 inch curl magnum 500s. Roof rack, tow ball, mud flaps, AC, barely it. But sadly, no cruise control. Let's look a little closer here. Yep. Interesting. Guy's grandpa kept it up in pretty good shape. I mean, what are you going to do with the engine? I mean, it's going to get dirt and dust all over it. I'm curious what the mileage is on it. Three speed torque flight. There. A little bit of damage. Yeah, body panel's got some rusty all the way through. Yeah, they're not all going to be perfect. Just like us, they're not all going to be perfect. Especially for $5,600. You know where this sucker at? Morris Plains, New Jersey. Okay, what other cars we got? A Corvair convertible. A 65 Corvair, very close to drinking beer. Raising hell. Dang it, Living Earth Springs, I can't remember the name of that song. I want to make a t-shirt out of it. All right. Y'all know I'm a traditionalist. Ford Bronco 2s are not Broncos. They are not Broncos. They are the bastard child of Broncos. Don't like them. Don't believe in them. 
I, I'm a flat earther in the case of a Bronco 2s. Bronco 2s never existed. I don't really plan to ever acknowledge them because they're awful. I hate them. They're not Broncos. Get out of here with your $11,000 Bronco. Give me that Corvair all day, every day, twice on Sundays. Which today's Sunday, 27th. Okay, BMW R69, get the Trans Am. It's going to be the Trans Am, $70,000, hell yeah. That's that's the Bandit Trans Am. You got to love that one. Starlight black over black cloth, 6.6 .6 liter V8. Yes, sir. Three-speed auto, man, you want, you want the manual. Hearst removable roof panels, AC, AM, FM radio, power brakes, power steering, shaker hood, gold body accents, gold rims, hell yes. Hell yes. It's a cool little bike, too. 8500 bucks on that BMW bike. Okay, what we got here? International Scout 80. Against a... That looks like it's set for a rally. It's got them rally rims that I have seen on other race cars. Okay, so let's look a little closer. Let's not, let's not peek. Okay, so on the left, no reserve, 63 International Harvester Scout 80, 4x4, and kind of a matte green. Okay, it is, yeah, repainted matte green, beige vinyl. Place the car over the clutch, overhaul the engine, suspension, 152 CI inline 4. Yeah, not a very big engine, but it's cool looking old truck. Up against a 92 Lancia Delta Integrale Martini 5 Evoluzione. Okay, number 374 of 400. Produced for the model year to commemorate Lancia's fifth consecutive World Rally Championship victory. Go, Lancia. I'm more of an Audi guy, but that, it's a 92 Lancia. It looks like an 82 Audi S1. So, here's what it is. Okay, finishing white over Martini Racing. Inspired side stripes, black synthetic suede, turbocharged, two liter and line four. There's no telling how much that Lancia is worth. Twenty grand on the Scout, I'd assume. And the sky's the limit. That thing that's built to if it's built to rally specs, Jesus Christ. No telling. Uh, twenty five five on the Scout, ninety thousand and a half on that Lancia Delta. You got 20 hours left to bid on it, boys. It's a cool ass car. It's a conversation piece for sure in your crypto.com meetings. Okay, what else we got here? A couple of Mazda and Miata against a Porsche 914. I'm going to say that Mazda and Miata is worth more just because. And Miatas are fun cars. And Porsche 914s aren't really Porsches. Yep, 25 grand on the Mazda. 11,250 on that 71 914. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> On either side, a 1958 Ford Prefect. Is that like a Russian model car? Okay, left-hand drive example. So that means it mostly used for right-hand drive, I guess. Two-tone blue and white over matching interior. 172cc side valve inline four. Three-speed tranny. Huh. Interesting car. Never seen one of those. Against... Some Ferrari luggage and literature and bleh. 3600 bucks on that Ford Prefect. By God, if you can get that thing for under five all day, every day you do. I mean, I'm sure there's a reserve on it, but those are just, those are going to be conversation starters. I mean, if you're like serious car collecting guy that wants weird, interesting, off the wall type stuff, that 58 Ford Prefect is Prefect. It's perfectly perfect for for your collection. That's that's interesting. Now for me, I have no use for it, but somebody out there get you a deal. That that seems like a no brainer. The price could only go up on that. Okay, a seventy eight Corvette Pace Car against a ninety nine S ten L S Extreme. I guess this was Chevy's foray into trying to duplicate the Cyclone. 12,000 on that, 23 on the VET. F250 Lariat Super Cab against the Aston Martin. I mean, come on. That Aston only got 21.5 on it? Wow. Still, it's 
20 years old, but it's still gorgeous. And like I said, I like Timeless Classic. Just undeniable. That those Astons are just such great design. Now, the doors are a piece of shit. But it is what it is. F2, man, you get an F250 truck any year? For under 10 grand? You might ought to do it. Trucks are expensive. Hey, Woody. 1800 mile S2000, the 7, a 200 King Talk, 2007 Honda. S2000 against a 350 powered 51 Ford Wagon, Squire Woody. And those are cool. Both of them. Those S2000s are, are fun little zippers. And then the Country Squire. Hell yeah. Mr. Tyler Chillers himself, the Country Squire. Okay, so we got S2000 out to Boone, North Carolina. 1900 miles, formerly red over black, 2.2 liter VTEC in line four. Those things aren't turbocharged or, sur or supercharged. Interesting. Then the 51 Country Squire Woody Wagon. Put your bid in. I'm going to look it up before I put it, before I click on it. I'm going to say the Woody. 30,000. 20 on the Honda. Jesus Christ. 35 on the Woody. 45. And 1,800 miles makes a difference there. So let's take a look here. This way a little closer. Got 20 hours and some change. I like that. I'm just kind of staring at it. It's pretty. Okay, partial refurb. You finish the body in the wood grain trim. Put in a 350 V8. Four-speed training. Seller got it in 2014. We shouldn't flip it immediately. See, that's a cool car. Clean Arizona title. Got some manual refurb records. Bodywork stripped, refinished. Wood grain appliques. Varnish wood trim. Electric door poppers. Looks like they shaved off the door handles. Blemish on the hood. Wonder what it is. The interior looks nice too. Yeah, it's a badass car. Bet that 350 moves it down the road. Hope they upgraded the brakes. Okay, 355 to one gearing, eight inch rear end. There's some photos of. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the hood. See if we can find the blemish. I like those recessed headlights and the chrome bezel. Well, I sure don't see a blemish. Unless it's an issue with the paint. Or maybe paint being thin somewhere. Man, I sure couldn't see it. It's cool, Woody. Somebody give me a fun little car to toot around town in. Next up, Magna PI against an SX. So the eight, let's look at it. 57 and a half on that Ferrari 308. 84 model against a 49,000 mile 2003 Acura NSX. I like that silver, silverishly gray color. It's a ghost, it's a ghost NSX. Silver still metallic to Ronix leather. 3.2 liter V6. Surprise those things weren't turbocharged. Could you imagine? Like a properly dual turbo like twin turbo like dual turbo charge in SX just just ripping it that'd be fun okay Model T against a BMW L6 I bet the Model T has got more money on it 11,000 yep the 3600 on the 87 L6 me what's that 25 years old 35 I don't know even yeah 35 35 year old BMW. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the market's at for that, for those things. Just don't know. No interest in those. There's a Honda C70 Passport. A little moped. Against a 97 BMW M3. So a 25 year old M BMW. 37.5 on M3. And a Pucas yellow. 
a Dakar yellow over a black Napa. Okay, like I said, I'm not crazy about yellow cars. Had a girlfriend back in the day. She said yellow was her favorite color because it was a happy color. Don't disagree, but I don't drive cars because they look happy. I drive them because they make me happy. <laughs> and there, there's another yellow. Okay, that yellow's not bad on that 356 Porsche. So it's a 64 356 C Coupe. It's a 2021 AMG GT Black. I have seen that one on Bernie Trevor before. It did not go off on auction. It bid up to $461,000. And let's look at that Porsche. 1.6 liter flat V4. Manual 15 inch wheels. Four disc. Four wheel disc brakes. Lap belts. I got it in 2015, the 2021 GT Black. Well, there's your money. Shit. Black over black. The Dyn Dynamica interior? I don't know what that is. Powered by a twin turbo 4.8. 4 liter V8. Yeah. Seven speed dual clutch. Limited slip. Diff. Black series. AMG GT. Carbon fiber components to reduce weight and feature wide and aerodynamic. Yeah, it's a badass car. I'm all about. So it's a 371, still 90,000 less than where it went to last time. You got 21 hours to put your bid in. So that 64 Porsche, it's got $40,000 on it. Yeah, those are cool ass cars. Now they're not going to win no drag races by any means, but you need a Sunday drive, take the lady out, you know, go to lunch, whatever. Yes, that's, that's a kind of a, a fun little just putting around on a Sunday car. Okay, see what else we got here. 66 Bronco against Shelby GT. Giving me the Bronco all day, every day. 34 grand on that. And 106 grand on that GT500. Man. Brittany Blue, Wimbledon White. I wonder if that's the same one we saw back last week. I don't recognize the picture. But I do like the Bronco. Those copper rims look good on those. Okay, it's got a 306 V8. AX15, 5 speed manual. Body lift and suspension lift. And just go suspension. There's a body lift in my blazer. I don't like it. Wobbles the body too much. It's too high. Bleh. Okay, Austin Healy against the Benz. So these are convertibles. 41 year old 65 Austin Healy 3000 BJAMK3. Whatever. Gets a 35,000 mile 2000 Benz SL600. So the SL's got that V12. You know it. Glacier White Rash. Exclusive leather. Body color removable hardtop. Black soft top. You betcha. Now Austin Healy's got 2.9 liter inline 6. 4 speed manual. Red over black. Owner got the car in 1981. Listed it in October 2021. Looks like it didn't sell. So I basically still got a high ass reserve. I bet he wants 50 grand for that thing. And put the top dollar on the Austin Healey. Y'all put your bids in. Put them in, boys. 34.5. And then 20,250 on that Benz. Yeah, not for me. That gets 944, blah blah blah. 90,000 on that 66 vet. Jeez, I'm definitely getting out of my price range. But uh, those are my favorite versions of 65 to like 67, 68 vet 427s with the side exhaust. You know it. Those are those are damn cool cars. Okay, don't care about either of those. Just don't. It's 24,000 miles. Saline convertible against a Boxster. Bleh. Saline all day. 35000 on the Mustang Saline. So it's number 666 against the Devil Car. I wouldn't drive that. I wouldn't drive that for any reason. Get the numerology and the superstition out of my life. Okay, so there's 137 convertibles. 302 V8. I'd be surprised that that only had a 302 in it. It's high output. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's set up. Oh, you know, oh no, saline soups their engines up. So I'm sure it's fast as shit for, for that era. 
A 2001 Porsche Boxster. $8,000 on it. Just throw your money away. Man, you get a boxer front of 10. It's probably not that awful of a deal. Okay, it's a 97 Silverado against a 72 Camaro. Not so crazy about the 72, the change in body styles on these Camaros. Man, it's that early 70s design. Just They, they missed. They went from these all time classics to thinking they had to be innovative. That's just what the market demands, continuous innovation, and they missed the mark. Most all the car manufacturers in the, in the early, mid-70s missed the mark. But the money's close on those, 22, 250 against 20 and a half. That would have been a bitchin' Silverado in the late 90s. You know it. Okay, Jeep against the Bronco. Whatever. A yellow ass Bronco, man. Enough with the yellow cars today. I don't even want to look at them. Or another 356A. Or that other one was a cool 356C. 73 Toyota. Can't even talk. Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Refurbished in Venezuela. No, thank you. Good. Yeah, 125 grand on that Porsche. It's amazing. Okay, is that the Clark Gable car? I thought that was a roadster. Okay, so it's very similar to the Clark Gable car we saw earlier. Okay, 39 euro and 52 Jag XK 120 fixed head coupe. Okay, yep. Going through LA. 39 years it wanted to win. A color change to the copper scheme. Yeah, that, that copper color is pretty cool. Is that the vanilla ice? Mustang? Just rolling through the hood with this 5 I think that's a vanilla ice car. 17 grand on that. Okay, remain with the owners in 2021. 10,000 miles. 302. Yeah, the five speed manual. Hmm. Okie dokie. 17 grand on the vanilla ice car. Not crazy about the red interior. Okay, what do we got here? An Elva MKV style 1.1 liter four speed race car against a Chevelle. 3400 bucks on that thing on the left. Looks like a go kart. It's like an open wheel. No, it's an open wheel, but it's a open cockpit racer. Hmm. I believe those were the death traps in the AJ4 era, the early, in the AJ4 early Indy 500 days. I believe a lot of people died in those cars in the races. Okay, the 68 Chevelle SS 396 four speed yellow and black gold vinyl. Enough of the yellow cars today. I'm not even looking at it. Okay, 911 Cabriolet. Thanks, badass. All murdered out, black on black on black. It's a Land Rover Defender 90 TDI. Hmm. It's left hand, so the Land Rover's a left hand drive. Acquired by the current owner in 2022 out of Germany. Why would you go through the hassle of bringing the truck out of Germany just to flip it? That's a two and a half liter TDI turbo diesel four wheel drive against a 911 Carrera from Mill Valley. I do like Mill Valley, California. 10,000 miles, 3.8 liter flat V6, PDK dual clutch. Basalt black over black full leather. And of course, we know it's going to be the Porsche, probably like 90 grand. 36. Hmm. I can afford that. Just tell me no. Just tell me no because I need to pay taxes. Pay taxes, pay off student loans, then we can play. I need that reminder. Okay, 20 grand on that Defender 90 is probably worth it. Just, just my two cents. So an FJ Cruiser against a 2002 Trans Am Firehawk. Firehawks are a little souped up. One of 1,334 SLP Firehawks. One of 128 convertibles for the final model year. So 2002 was the last year of the Trans Am. And rip Pontiac. Pontiac was such a such an iconic American car manufacturer. And we we need it. We need. To have not got rid of Pontiacs. 
than the FJ Cruiser. Forty five grand on that. Whatever. Whatever. Got an off road package. Where's the snorkel? If you have an off road package, you gotta have a snorkel on those things. I don't see a snorkel. So another old BMW against Cadillac XLR. That's gonna be that caddy. It's 2006 XLR, a number 148 of 250. Star Black, limited edition. Star Black Metallic over Shale Leather. Okay, so it's black and black. Why you gotta, why you gotta use some other. Why you gotta make it sound fancier by using some other shade of black? Think of the North Star V8. Five speed auto. 18 inch wheels. Oh, pff. I mean, it's not even close. 27,750 on the Caddy and then 11,5 on the 540i. Okay, there's a couple of red convertibles. <laughs> a, a no reserve 95 Ferrari F355 Spider against a 75 Triumph TR6. This is kind of money. I don't have a story about any of these cars. I'd probably like to have them both. Those F35s or F355s are pretty sweet. Especially in the mid-90s. Those, those, are, those are the cars to have if you could dream. If you could dream a little dream, that Ferrari would probably be in it. The 96.5 against 17.5 on the Triumph. Yeah, those Triumphs are cool little cars too. Let's see what else we got here. A freaking Rivian. A yellow Rivian. God damn, all these yellow cars tonight. Against a 91 Bronco. Let's look at the money. Oh, no. I'll be close. That Rivian probably wants 100 grand. Bronco probably wants 40 so 84 in the Rivian, 12-1 on the Bronco, no reserve. <laughs> Get under 15, it might, might be something to do. Okay, then we got a 69 Corvette against a F-250 from 1996. Power stroke, and it's got the 7.3. Money's close in those two. 20 grand on that 7.3 liter power stroke and 20 and a half on that Corvette. Man, that power stroke. That that might I mean if it's got three hundred thousand miles on it then then no but you know if it's got you know normal to lower mileage on it that power stroke could probably deal. I just I gotta have a backup camera. I just can't do my business. I can't back up to hit my trailers. I'm usually by myself most of the times. I move the trailers around, and I I gotta have a backup camera now. That's that's made it too simple, too easy. Okay, AMG GT, I like that blue. Okay, so we got a 4,100 mile 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS. This is a brilliant blue metallic over the Auburn Brown Napa. Twin turbo V8. It's a 45 year old 63 vet. Man, I hate that he's selling this vet. That is a classic right there. Okay, got it in 77. Refurbed in 95. Rebuilt the engine, replaced clutch, repainted the body. Lots of service work being done to it. Man, it's gonna be a close one. If that AMG is not one hundred fifty thousand dollars, it's probably like seventy. That's probably right around where that vet's at, or we'll end up at. Let's look at the money. Eighty-five five on the AMG and a hundred and twenty-one thousand on that vet. Holy crap! A hundred and twenty-one grand. Look at that AMG. I like them. If I had a wife, that'd be the car I'd try to put her in. But I do not have a wife, and I do not have a Mercedes AMG GT. Man, that's a beautiful car. Man, that thing's gorgeous. I like those big old wheels on too. Okay, brilliant blue metallic. Panoramic glass roof, 19 and 20 inch rims, titanium, AMG adaptive sport suspension, interior is nice too, I kind of like that muted brown, that works, I like that, Auburn brown Napa exclusive leather, contrasting stitching, lower dash, door panels, keyless go, ambient lighting, Dynamica headliner, whatever the heck that is, Burmester, Surround sound. That's a good looking car. Let's see what the sticker price was on that sucker new. 149,000. My lord. Okay, 149, 30 bucks. Lovely. 
Dream a little dream. Oh, there we go. 427. 68 Chevy Camaro Coupe. Against Homeboys 1991 Chevy 454 SS. Zach had. Well, he said he had a red one. Homeboy in my school had a black one just like that. That was. That was what was in the truck. Okay, 68 Camaro, 427, V8, three-speed auto, blue with white stripes or black vinyl. Things suck. Things nice. 15-inch American Racing Wheels. Okay, then the Chevy, 454SS, single cab, black over red cloth. Oh, we saw the white 454 went for like 34.5. We know the Camaro market. That's the year to have 68. That's that was the 427. That's probably 50. I'll probably go between 50 and 60. Eh, let's go 40. 40 on the Chevy. And we still got data bid. I'm going to say the Camaro's probably got a little better money on it. Tied up head to head. 17.5 on each. And you get that 454 for under 20. And, and you're a bow tie. You're a badass bow tie boy. That might be the that might be one to have. Then man, Camaro under thirty. Man, let's look at a little closer. That's gonna be hard for me not to put a bid in. That's gonna be real hard for me not to put a bid in if it's if it's like amazingly perfect. Okay, let's see. Acquired by the seller in twenty sixteen. Install the transmission, the radiator, the intake, the carburetor, the distributor, and the AC. Got enough good to have that. Living down here in the south. Refresh the suspension. Hopefully that means more than just replacing the, uh, oh, shoot, I can't, can't even think what they're called. The rubber pieces. Rebuilding starter motor, replacing the torque converter and water pump. Uh, top jersey. That would concern me. With all the salt and stuff they put on the road. I mean, if this guy was crazy enough to drive it out in the winter. I ain't no telling. Hopefully we'll see some pictures of the undercarriage. Oh, I do like those seeds. I do like the houndstooth inserts on those seeds. Okay, yada, 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 yada. Okay, it shows 15,000 miles. 3,000 under current ownership. Yeah, of course, total mileage on now. Like most of these old cars. All right, here we go. Undercarriage. Looks like it's got some coating on there. The exhaust doesn't have too much. No, I can't even think of what I'm trying to say. Like, put those crater wheels. Look at these pictures real fast. Oh, that. That'd be why it's 17.5 and not 40 grand. The paint looks good. Okay, looks like there's a little bit of. You can call it rust, but. That's what I'm looking for, boys. Help me out here. Let's see if there's some rub in there. Okay, so they did paint the frame, nuts and bolts, some suspension, so there was update, yeah, yeah, at least, at least they touched it up. I would not want to see the frame being all rusty and having, and what's the word that I cannot, it's the thing that about wrestling did to me, taking chair shots, it gave me concussions. A lot of them. And now my brain just doesn't work. I can't do math. I can't think on the fly like I used to. I can't talk as fast as I used to. And my ADD kicks in really bad. To where I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say. And then just like the words just doesn't come to me. And then like 20 seconds later it will pop in my head. Okay, some engine pictures. Alright, so they, they did repaint the undercarriage, the 
body underneath. Crab train. Transmission pan. Is that a little bit of oil leaking up there? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so there's rubber spray from doing the body. Interesting. Yeah, it looks good. It looks pretty clean underneath. I keep one oxidation keeps coming to my mind, but I know that's not the word I'm looking for. But it might be the right word. Man, it's going to be real hard. For, I'm going to watch that tomorrow. It might be real hard for me to not put a bit in. And I just didn't see a lot of you know, damage from like salt and all the junk they put on the roads up north. It's one thing to look at. 17.5. 22 hours left of bid. Hmm. I think that's a good stopping point. I gotta quit looking at cars before I start spending money. So there we are. It's episode 9. There we go. We're in the can. I'll upload this thing in the morning when I get to the office where I got decent internet so it doesn't take 27 hours to upload a single file. Um, and hopefully, hopefully soon, my electric company will be out here and give me some good internet so I'll have a lot more options from doing from home. And we'll probably try to have, we'll have Zach on tomorrow and maybe later in the week we'll see if we can't get somebody else on. I'll figure out who it is. And maybe, maybe you'll see us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify here at the end of the week as well. So, like I said, give me some comments. Let me know what you hate. Let me know what you like. If there's anything that you specifically want to see or us do, then, you know, send it over. I know I'm kind of boring by myself, but hey, it's what it is. And we'll see you on the next one.